So here are some of the things that the teachers' unions are demanding. They want to ban new charter schools and ban private school choice. Now, what kind of union gets a say over its competition? <laughs> In what world do we want a union to get to decide what their competition does? Now, you can't fix bad education in, in a year, you know, it's sort of a generational problem, but you could make a big difference in a year, or in a generation, not a year. So I would say if we're going to pretend that systemic racism is something we care about and, and pretend that black lives are something we care about, you shouldn't have to pretend about that, and you think that poor white lives are something that you care about, it's all the same problem. It's just the teachers' unions. Get rid of the teachers' unions, you can save the next generation. You don't, you don't. And if Kanye simply said, I'm going to endorse whoever has the best plan for schools, there we go. All right, there we go. Aren't you glad you waited for the end? Here's what Kanye could do to fix more than anybody's ever fixed. He could just say, I'm going to endorse the party that has the best plan for school. That's it. Just, just the one thing. Whichever party has the best plan for educating the kids who are not otherwise well served, that's it. I'm going to give my full endorsement, full-throated, to that one thing. Because <clears throat> the other stuff, it's trivial. The coalition of 10 teachers' unions and the Democratic Socialists of America just put out a list of demands, according to a tweet I saw. So here are some of the things that the teachers' unions are demanding. They want to ban new charter schools and ban private school choice. Now, what kind of union gets a say over its competition? <laughs> In what world... Do we want a union to get to decide what their competition does? These are just different businesses. What does the public school union have to do with a new charter school or a new private school? Why do they get any say about that? How, how is that any of their business? That's just their competition. The fact that they even have the, the balls to put out a statement about what the American public can do with its own money, you know, meaning that if we wanted to be funding some of these private options, uh, I don't think that's the business of a union, what people do when they're not doing something with your business. Um, so that's way over the line. And, of course, they want more money. Everybody wants more money. And police-free schools. Do you know how you can have a police-free school? I would recommend a charter school or a private school because public schools, probably you're not going to get there. Uh, so I would say again that until we get to the point where we understand that the teachers' unions are the source of all systemic racism, now when I say the source, I don't mean the cause. Because yeah, I would agree that the cause is this legacy of slavery and all the, the ripple effect. But as I've said before, the school system is the equalizer. If you get the school system right, meaning that everybody's got a fair shot at a good education, then you've at least, you've at least said, here's a path with the very least amount of racism that, that you could experience. You just have to succeed. And then racism will still exist. You can't get rid of the way people think. We're just tuned that way. But you can make it a non-issue in your life. In summary, I would say this. Systemic racism is the um, teachers' unions. The teachers' unions are overwhelmingly white, and they want less choice in schooling. And it is that less choice in schooling that makes really every bad thing that happens to black people. Now, you can't fix bad education in, in a year. You know, it's sort of a generational problem. But you could make a big difference in a year, or in a generation, not a year. So I would say if we're going to pretend 
The systemic racism is something we care about and, and pretend that black lives are something we care about. You shouldn't have to pretend about that. And you think that poor white lives are something that you care about. It's all the same problem. It's just the teachers' unions. Get rid of the teachers' unions, you can save the next generation. You don't, you don't. And complaining about how many people got killed by police, while、well, we don't want to forget that problem, it's your smallest. It is really hard not to swear. Do you know how hard it is to not swear? I mean, I'm trying to do my best. I realize I'm,、uh, I realize I'm more,、uh, you know, I don't get there all the time. But、uh, worrying about your smallest problem, which is the number of people killed by the police, it's the smallest problem. There is no problem smaller than that in the black community, I'll bet. Now, if you happen to be the direct victim of it or your family, it's your biggest problem, duh. But in terms of the larger systemic racism, it's just, it's just the teachers' union. You fix that one thing, and you're fine. How, how hard would it be for Kanye to fix.、Um, this, is a, this, this will sound crazy. But look how easy it would be. How hard would it be for Kanye to fix systemic racism in one generation? It wouldn't be hard. He could actually do it. Right? It might be the only person who could. I mean, think of another person who could. It's hard to come up with anybody. Kanye could fix it just by concentrating on working against the school unions. Now, I don't think Kanye usually is a guy who likes to oppose something. I think he's more about a, a positive image of things, which is why we love him. You know, he's more about m a k e things better and you know, look at the good side. And, you know, he's, he's not so much about looking backwards and, and blaming other people. That's just not his deal. And we don't want it to be. But he does have the power. And if he could simply define,、um, r- define systemic racism as whatever is wrong with the education system, I think we could do the rest. And if Kanye simply said, I'm going to endorse whoever has the best plan for schools, there we go. All right, there we go. Aren't you glad you waited for the end? Here's what Kanye could do to fix more than anybody's ever fixed. He could just say, I'm going to endorse the party that has the best plan for school. That's it. Just, just the one thing. Whichever party has the best plan, For educating the kids who are not otherwise well served. That's it.、Uh, I'm going to give my full endorsement, full throated, to that one thing. Because <clears throat> the other stuff, it's trivial. The one thing will just change the entire nature of the United States, make us more competitive. Com- competitive. I mean, your education system is, drives your economic system, that drives your defense. I mean, we're talking about national defense, i s completely degraded. By having a poor school system that's educating people who don't have that many options. So, why isn't this idea going viral? It's a really good question, and I think it has to do with this. There are so many teachers in the world, this is just a guess, by the way, and I'm gonna, th- this will be an, an example of how if your skill stack includes more than one kind of field that you've studied, it's easier to have idea sex, as James L. Tusher. Uh, has popularized that idea. But here's the idea. In the,、um, in the field of coronavirus and virology, you have this herd immunity issue. And you can get to herd immunity by maybe 60% of the people in the population having、uh, some immunity. So you don't have to have everybody immune, you just have to have a lot of them, and that's enough to stop a virus. Likewise, somebody asks, why isn't the idea going viral? Of going after the teachers' unions. Because I didn't make that up, right? In fact, I'm, I'm one of the latest people to come to it, probably, because the entire conservative movement has been complaining about the teachers' unions forever. So here is my guess, my speculation about why it's so obvious what the problem is the teachers' unions reducing competition in school. It's so obvious, and yet it, it's not a thing. It's not the number one thing we're talking about every day. Here's why. I believe that there are enough people who are teachers or have a teacher in their family that they don't want to rag on teachers. That's it. 
There are so many people connected to, in some meaningful way, a working teacher that they don't want to be pushing something that's bad for teachers because the teachers' union is trying to protect the teachers more than, more than they're trying to do other things. Case in point, my own sister, who is probably watching this right now. Hi, Cindy. Uh, <laughs> she's probably watching it right now, and she had asked me what I thought about uh, ragging on the teachers' unions when my own sister is a recently retired teacher. Did you hear the key words? Recently retired? And I told her that until she retired, I wasn't going to say this stuff that I wasn't going to complain about teachers and teachers' unions until she was retired, and she just retired. So now I have a full, uh, full, full uh, freedom, I guess, to go after what I think is the real problem. Now think about my situation. As vocal as I am about as many things as I'm vocal about, I don't, I don't hold back too much on any topic. I held back on that because it was a personal situation in which I didn't want to you know, degrade my own sister's lifestyle. But now she's retired. I'm free. All right? Her pension's locked in. So I, I think that that's it. I think there's a uh, herd immunity toward going after the teachers' unions just because so many of us have some strong relationship with the teacher. I think that's what it is, exactly. So we have to somehow break that. Now, can you and I break that? No. Now, I do not have the power or the influence to get through that herd immunity. Do you know who does? Kanye. <laughs> right. Like, for, for me, this is like, um, you've, you've probably watched me push over a lot of bamboo walls, you know. If you give me a soft structure, give me a little, uh, you know, drywall, I, I can punch through some drywall. But if I had a, a concrete wall, I, you know, that's the end of my power. I can bang on the concrete wall all day long with my powers of persuasion, but I don't have that much horsepower. But Kanye does. Kanye could blow right through a concrete wall. Kanye could, like, bulldoze a concrete wall like it wasn't even there because he has that level of persuasion power, you know, above my own. So if he were to identify the one single biggest problem with uh, structural systemic racism, which is the teachers' unions... Or simply just, you know, rather than go against somebody, it's better to say, I'm in favor of school choice. You know, I'm going to help some people develop some models of better schooling or something like that. You know, go, go the positive direction. But if you were to uh, just make a single, a single issue endorsement criteria, he would determine the next president and he would end systemic racism in one generation. So there you go. All right, um, somebody says black lives matter equals no charter schools. Incorrect. Black lives matter do not mind charter schools. H hear this clearly. Black lives matter are not opposed to charter schools. Kind of like them. Now, the, you know, everybody's different, so I'm not speaking for everybody in black lives matter. But what I've been told by a member of black lives matter is that the black community kind of likes school choice. Why wouldn't they? It's obvious that they should like it. It's obvious. 